Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Welcome to my channel. My mission is to help you ascend into your brand new light body, your twin flame body, and romance. In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this energy that we feel that we're in right now. It's been some weird tension. And you're going to notice that men are a little bit off kilter. They're not trying to be bad guys, but they are feeling it. They're feeling that squeeze, like being squeezed like a tube of toothpaste. What am I talking about? I'm talking about pulling out from having to support everything, life as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. I got criticized by a friend for saying that. She was like, really, you're going to croak? quote, R.E.M. to me now. And I was just like, sometimes that song has some really good lyrics in it that really hit home. You know, it's the end of the world as we know it, but I feel fine. That doesn't mean that we don't care. And it, what it means is it is the ending of some things and the way things have had to be with that like driving force. And you're going to see this in men around you, colleagues, bosses, you're especially going to see it in the male parent of your child or your future baby daddy. It's going to be in your baby daddies, whether that's your husband, your ex. You're going to have possibly some friction with them. You may not have a meeting of the minds, nor should you have a meeting of the minds with them. We have to think about harmony, not strategy. Okay, if you are struggling with the opposite sex, that is very appropriate for this energy because the struggle is real and yet the harmony has to be even realer. It has to be even more so. This is particularly hard during the holidays as we're coming to just a lot of people's holidays. No matter what you celebrate, even if you don't celebrate and you're like, oh, I'm all fed up with that consumerism. It's around you. You're immersed in it. It's a soup. Now, there are things that are very auspicious as well in this energy because this is part of the bringing up a level of, you know, much deeper satisfaction in terms of what you need for your life. Okay, having breakthroughs, having that loan finally approved having the green light on a place you were applying for and trying to get into, having someone's heart give way because suddenly they're just like, yeah, you know, I think we can do it. Um, having other kinds of breaks that happen for you. That's when I say Santa comes early because the masculine energy isn't always about upholding or doing or, you know, hammering away at something. It's about giving and gifting. This is where your other half comes in because your other half needs to gift you back the things that were utilized in other times and places. Those are parts of you that belong back to you. And that's not something that you will learn really with other methods. Okay, you're not going to learn it because a lot of times you you know, might read an article and the article says like, oh, expect a call from your ex. They're going to be reaching out. Okay, you don't have to take that as a given. Let's say they do reach out. Okay, let's just take a for example. Your ex reaches out. Okay, because you know what? They're feeling this energy too. They might be going down memory lane and going like, oh, it's the holidays. I can reach out. And then they ghost you again right after the first of the year. Okay, it's up to you to Feel into and distinguish what does this mean for you? Do you act on it? Should you act on it? Is it in your best interest? Is it going to be a repeat of the same old crap again and again and again? What if you're in a relationship and you feel like you're stuck in that relationship or you're stuck in a marriage? And someone has promised you and promised you they're not going to get messed up this holiday. They're not going to get drunk. They're not going to do drugs. They're not going to slip and slide all over the place. And you're kind of on that thin edge of like, I want to believe them. But, you know, history could repeat itself. Chances are in this energy, history will repeat itself. 
what do you do? Do you brace yourself for the worst or do you really recognize it for what it is? A pattern that is going to keep repeating because proper changes are not being made. Now, making change during energy like this is not always easy because it feels like you're going, you know, like the water's going this way and you're trying to like swim upstream to like push through it and force some changes. The changes you need now should have started two or three months ago. What you decide to change now should be finances, priorities. Focus on children. And last but certainly not least, your own physical health. Okay? You've got an immune system to boost up. I know how to help you with that. I know how to help you with children. I know how to help you very easily ditch the X and get rid of things without even a thought about it for the good of all concerned. I know how to help you Start getting that baby daddy to do what they need to do or that baby mama to do the thing that they need to do and stop the drama. This retrograde, if nothing else, it is about stop the drama and take some proper actions. That's a gift I'm giving you. Really recognize some of the drama for what it is because there are people like me who are very quietly stepping away from the drama, getting our stuff done, and our stuff is flinging us forward. And I'm not kidding you about that. I'm talking about real action with systems that you would think may never budge. And they have. Okay? Part of the reason that they do is we all have hearts. You have to let your heart communicate to their heart, even if you do not consider them awakened or woke, okay? If you ain't dealing with woke people, guess what? Through your own light body, doo -doo 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 -doo, you can create something where you train them properly on how to treat you, how to treat you nicely, and without a confrontation, okay? This is one of the most important things in this is to be able to deal properly with those, you know, undesirable experiences, unwanted situations, um, unrealistic expectations, and to be able to subtly, and I mean subtle, not sudden, subtly shift and change it like the empress that you are. Do you want to be an empress in this Venus energy? Hell yeah. Do you uh, want to use the alignments of certain energies? So those alignments, even though we look in the sky and we're like, well, that's lined up with that. That's like, no, what that means is there's an influx of energy which starts propelling things into the same direction. It's coming in from here and here and here. And it's like a river flowing. It's like all of the tributaries of the river are flowing in one direction. There is only one direction and it's up. So I'm going to be down again. So thanks so much for watching. Please check the links below to join me for real change. And you'll be glad you did because my method, my modality, my twin flame body work gets results and gets you the high level experiences that you really need in order to feel it working in your life for you and for the good of all. And for loving yourself, caring for yourself, and loving your other half, wherever they may be. Thank you. Bye.